Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Friday, June 7th, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are at 305.2 kilometers per second with a density of 8.4. Our sun is blank again. That makes now 19 straight days without sunspots on our star. 2019 has a total of 93 spotless days. That's 59% of the year so far. Take a look at KP indices. Right now it's at a one and a 24 hour max was also in at one. And here on the SDO in motion, we see a couple of coronal holes that could impact Earth's magnetic field by June 9th. And behind that, above those active regions right there, we are looking at a possibility of some more solar activity, solar wind speeds increasing somewhere around the 15th through the 16th of June. And taking an article here from spaceweather.com, the unraveling of Jupiter's great red spot. The biggest storm in the solar system is shrinking. Since mid-May, Jupiter's great red spot has contracted a startling 3,000 kilometers, reducing the size of the anti-cyclone by nearly 20%. Enormous amounts of red gas are streaming away from the storm as it spins. This is something we've never seen before. Experienced observers say this storm is getting a new shape every day in a dramatic metamorphosis. The JUPOS project manages the largest Jupiter database in the world. So far, they've collected more than 1 million measurements, including old images and drawings from the 18th century, allowing us to plot very precise trends in the Great Red Spot. For instance, the plot shows a sudden decrease in the storm's diameter since early May. Considering a case of perfect timing, Jupiter is about to make its annual closest approach to the Earth, only 641 million kilometers away on June 12th. Proximity makes the big planet in bright, shining almost four times brighter than Cirrus, the brightest star in the sky. And now here's Mari. Thanks, Jake. Natural disasters have battered the central U.S. over the past few weeks as violent tornadoes and devastating floods have slammed the region, killing several people and injuring scores. There were nearly 4,400 individual reports of tornadoes, hail, and straight-line winds in May alone, according to preliminary data from the National Weather Service. This is the most in May since 2011. As for Floods, record-breaking rainfall in Oklahoma and Kansas resulted in historic flooding throughout the Arkansas River Basin, along with remnant flooding with the Missouri and Mississippi River Basins. Total economic and insured losses from the severe storms and floods were each anticipated to reach into the billions of dollars, according to a reinsurance firm. In Oklahoma and Arkansas, record-shattering rainfall swamped the south central U.S. over the past few weeks, leading to catastrophic flooding along the Arkansas River in both Oklahoma and Arkansas. In several locations, the river was at its highest level ever recorded, including Fort Smith, Arkansas. Elsewhere, eight states along the Mississippi endured the longest period of flooding since the Great Flood of 1927. This is in Moffitt, before and afters in Conway, In Missouri, a tornado roared through the state capital of Jefferson City just before midnight on May 22nd, injuring 32 people. The National Weather Service said the tornado was a powerful EF3 twister with a maximum wind speed of 160 miles per hour. Throughout its 19-mile path, the tornado caused severe damage or completely destroyed numerous homes and businesses and uprooted or snapped countless trees. This is the Jefferson City apartment complex before and after March 27th and June 3rd. This is Jefferson City downtown March 27th and June 3rd before and after. In Ohio, on the evening of May 27th, an EF4 tornado ripped through Dayton with wind speeds estimated at 170 miles per hour. The National Weather Service said hundreds of homes, businesses, and apartment complexes and thousands of trees along the path sustained moderate to heavy damage. Here's a glimpse at tornadoes throughout the central U.S. reported on May 27th, 2019. Before and after pictures of a Dayton apartment complex, the before captured March 12th and afterwards on June 1st. Here's a before and after of I-75 in northern Dayton, the before captured March 12th 
and the after on June 1st. Please stay tuned tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live show with Jake. Please subscribe, leave a comment below. Please like and share. We'll see you tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.